Science was always my favorite subject in school, but I didn't know how much of an interest I had in it to think that I'd work in an actual laboratory one day. I'm gonna be honest, when I was in high school, I didn't know about the medical laboratory field, and unfortunately, I think it's pretty common to see that many people don't realize that this profession exists. So if you are a med lab student or you're already working in the lab field, feel free to share how you discovered the field in the comments below. I wanted to share my story of how I discovered medical lab science to the point that led up to my decision to pursue this field as a career. So we'll get into my life in undergrad from sophomore year all the way up to senior year and then we'll talk about how everything eventually worked out. Okay, so let's go back to my sophomore year of college. I was a pre-nursing major. I was finishing up all of my prereqs that I needed to apply to the RNBSN program at my university. So one of the prereqs that I took was medical microbiology. So this was a required course to enter into the nursing program. This was basically when I found the one subject that I just love and adore so much. I honestly enjoyed learning so much about microbes and microscopy, which is funny because all of my classmates at the time just hated the course. They didn't know why we needed to take it. And they just thought it was the worst possible thing, the most grossest. <laughs> the most grossest concepts that we ever had to talk about but i never knew how much i really liked it just because this was my first time learning in depth about bacteria viruses fungi and parasites i was also introduced to concepts like epidemiology and virulence factors immunology and antibiotic susceptibility all just jam-packed into this one course so in this class i went through a good bit of lab technique like basic plating and colony isolation and identification through like looking at morphologies, stains, and the real old biochemical tests to identify these microbes. So to me, it was just the coolest thing, and I just thought it was so fun that I get to do this. But what I didn't know was that people were out here getting paid to do this lab stuff in healthcare, in the hospital. And it never crossed my mind that I could also work in the laboratory. It could have been because I just never knew anybody growing up in STEM or medicine or in healthcare. I didn't have those kind of role models especially in high school because all that was really advertised and pushed to us was going military, which my asthma said no, <laughs> that was not an option for me. But anyway, so sophomore year, I submitted my application to nursing school and got accepted to the program, which it was a lot of work, I'm not gonna lie. I had to bust my butt off for two years in prereqs, had to become a CNA, had to take HESI exam, and I had to get certified in CPR among just parts of that application that I had to do that year. Now we're gonna move into my junior year where I'm an actual nursing major. I was admitted to the nursing program like summer 2017, I think. The further I got into the program with skills labs and clinicals and simulations and stuff, it was just the more I realized that I did not wanna do it. So we are going to fast forward right through junior year <laughs> and bypass it all because I quit. Towards the end of my junior year, beginning of my senior year, it was kind of just trying to figure things out of like what I was going to do with my life now. Because <laughs> I was so set on becoming a nurse and I had this whole career path figured out of what I was going to do. But now that I don't want to do it, I was stuck. Uh, at the time, I was working as a biology tutor for the biological sciences department going on three years at my university. And microbiology still remained to be my favorite subject. So one day I asked my boss, the department chair, what were some careers I could look into that were related to the medical microbiology course that I loved so much? And after a few questions, he suggested research or medical laboratory science. But the difference with MLS is that all the techniques I learned in that micro course were just a small portion of what I would do on a daily basis for patients in the hospital. And I'm just like, what the heck is this? <laughs> I ain't never heard of it, nor met anybody that was a medical lab scientist. So I took him with a grain of salt initially, I'm not gonna lie. But after that conversation, I, I spent a good bit of time just researching medical laboratory science and what it was all about. And as I was learning more about it and the responsibilities of the job, I literally heard something to me say, yes, this is it. I went back to my boss and he introduced me to the microbiology faculty at my university. We didn't have a true med lab program but they still wanted to help me. So the closest thing I could do was major in biology and concentrate all of my upper level coursework 
in clinical microbiology. So that is what I did. But they pretty much guided me and gave me more insight on what a lab career would look like. They partnered with Career Services one semester and set up a STEM tour. We went to the water facility where they do like environmental microbiology, went to a beer factory, I guess you can call it but where they also did food microbiology. And then we went to the American Red Cross headquarters where they do blood banking. So at ARC, the lab professionals showed us their day-to-day -day working in a reference lab. And it was so cool because we got to tour the entire facility all the way from processing the donor samples to like consults and the really hard antibody workups. So that was really, really interesting. And I got to see what it would be like to work in a true uh, lab environment. And I also got to meet actual medical lab scientists for the first time and get insight on their experience in the field. And after talking with them and hearing their journeys um, and having this tour, that was kind of like the last piece of the puzzle for me to know that this is more along the lines of what I want to do in healthcare. So I'm moving on to my senior year as a biology major. At this point, <laughs> I am gun ho about working in a lab, but like I said, my university doesn't have a medical lab science program. So now I am knee deep in all these organic chemistries and biochemistries and all these upper level microbiology courses that I had to make a decision. Was I going to get my bachelor's in biology because I only had two semesters left or was I gonna transfer out all of my credits to another university to get my MLS degree. And I took some time to go on LinkedIn and reach out to techs that were alumni of my school. They had their bachelors of science in biology and they all told me their different routes to certification. I decided that since I had made it this far in college, two semesters left, I'll just go ahead and complete this degree and just find a training program post-grad. So I spent my entire senior year just highly motivated, definitely dedicated. <laughs> like I put in full effort because I saw the light at the end of the tunnel of me beginning a career that I felt like I would like, or at least you know grow to love over time. I focused my upper level courses in clinical microbiology, which goes in depth on how all kinds of species of microbes cause disease in us. My labs were focused on biochemical and molecular testing to identify specific pathogens and stuff. And also kind of just what the current, current topics in research are. So from there, I graduated and got into teaching microbiology and anatomy. And I got a public health job as well, as I kind of took some time off while I was applying to med lab programs. And that's basically where my channel picks up back in 2020, where I got accepted into medical laboratory school. I wanted to share my story just to kind of motivate others that are also trying to figure things out three years later where I'm actually working in a laboratory. So just realize sometimes the things we want in life just takes a little while to get there. To wrap up this video, I discovered the medical laboratory science field after taking a course in medical microbiology and because I also had professors that introduced me to a career and showed me that a lab career was an option for me. Because of my experience, I know firsthand that representation is so important, which is one of the reasons I started this channel to bring my viewpoint for anyone interested in this field and the journey it takes to get there. If you feel like you are deciding between multiple career paths, listen to your intuition. That's the biggest piece of advice I can give because your peace of mind should always come first. You should always choose happiness. I do hope my channel inspires you, at the very least gives you insight into what it's like to become a medical technologist or medical laboratory scientist. I know my journey is not normal because I'm not the traditional BS MLS graduate. Y'all probably think I'm all over the place. <laughs> I'm sure if I had known about this field in high school, I could have saved myself a lot of time, a lot of money and a lot of tears, but nonetheless, I've shared how I came about this field of medical laboratory science. So again, if you are a med lab student or you're already working in the medical lab field, feel free to share how you discover the field. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to keep up with my journey in the lab. So if you have any suggestions, definitely leave them in the description box, but I'll see you guys next time because I am so sleepy. I just got off of work from night shift. But yes, thanks for watching.